Will Ethereum 2.0 make Cardano obsolete? No, in fact, all the core protocols of Cardano are better than what Ethereum 2.0 will be once finished in every category. We're more Byzantine resistant. We have explicit blockchain-based governance, which Ethereum hasn't even touched at all. We have a better idea of how to update the system. We have a significantly better network design than anything that they've proposed in 2.0, and our consensus protocol is better. Plus with Hydra, our theoretical throughput is orders of magnitude better than anything that can achieve with ledger-based sharding. And we don't have to implement enormous complexity to achieve ledger-based sharding because we can do all this in a single shard environment with a layer, layer two solution and still get a thousand TPS on the single shard environment with maximum optimization. It makes no sense at all, Ethereum 2's direction. And it's a classic example of they tried 500 things, they settled on one thing that made sense, and they're just about to push their whole community into a world of trade-offs and endless debates over parameter this, parameter that. We're fighting over pledging and K. Imagine having 16 parameters you have to set, and those parameters can mean that you lose your money. It's much more controversial. And they're going to have F2 and F1 living at the same time. So that's going to actually be an Ethereum classic classic. And they're going to be a war with themselves during this transition. You know, the minute that they said, we're going to have a fight over ProgPow, I knew for a fact that they had no intention of shipping proof of stake quickly. Because why the hell would you even bother to change your proof of work algorithm if you're planning on deploying your proof of stake algorithm in a six month time horizon? Why even have the fight? Just go straight to proof of stake. Unless you don't think it's going to be six months, it's going to be two years, three years, and you need to solve your difficulty bomb, you need to solve your issues today. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of intellectual dishonesty there, and you know, we wish them well. And if they do cool stuff, great. But no, it's not. Uh, it's not all it's cracked up to be. I just listened to say everything about F2 is inferior to Cardano. I mean, I just pointed out facts. They're a third to a quarter Byzantine resistant, depending on how they parameterize their protocol. We're 50%. That's a fact. Okay. So you disagree with facts? Okay. You're an idiot. <laughs> it's just that simple. You can also believe that, you know, you don't need to drink water. Try that out for a while. You can also believe the earth is flat. Build your own rocket. How'd that work out for the last guy who did it? You know, it's amazing to me how we've just gotten to a point where people just don't want to listen anymore. They've set their opinion in the sand and they say, this is the way it is. And I don't care if I get any evidence to the contrary. You're wrong. I'm right. Okay. If you believe in F2, go, go, go to that ecosystem. It's big. It's big 10. Go suck the, go, go worship Vitalik. Go, go bow at that shrine and love Ethereum. And you'll be happy. And you can go to little conferences and put your little unicorn shirt on and believe you have it all figured out until you don't. That's fine. And if I'm right, okay. If he's right, okay. Pick your pick your people. If you don't want to use facts and evidence and objective data to understand how the world works, and you want to go by intuition and gut and cult of personality and persuasion, then pick the people you agree with and live in those camps. But at least have the common decency to leave the people who are focused on things that are empirical and following the peer review process alone because we don't listen to you. It's not about persuading you. I don't care if you like the laws of physics as they are. I don't care about your preferences for gravity uh, or your belief in chemistry. And somehow if you believe that the poison's not poison, it won't be poison. I really don't care. And the laws of physics don't care about you. Science doesn't care about you. Facts are facts, truth is truth. There are absolutes in the world. And perhaps in a world of unlimited genders and, and crazy politicization of science, maybe we started bending that a little bit, but reality bends back and has a way of reminding you from time to time that things are what they are. Uh, and what we do as a project is we take a step back and we say, what are first principles? And we put a flag on the ground and we say, this is what we're doing. These are our goals. We go do it. We prove it to people who aren't in our project, they're outside of our project through the peer review process in a formal structured way. And only after they've said that they agree with it, or at least it's a legitimate thing, do we even consider bringing that idea into our product when we're talking about a serious protocol. Because this is people's money, this is people's privacy, this is people's identity, it's their product. If you want to follow a different philosophy of some engineers got together over pizza and they thought about it really hard, and they think they got a good idea and the boy, they're going to be amazing. Then you go follow that philosophy and maybe you get lucky. Maybe you get right. Okay, great. You won the lottery. Congratulations. But if you want to follow a structured philosophy, this is what you get. 
and if it's Charles Hoskinson doing it, if it's Sylvia McCauley doing it, uh, if it's a uh, you know Ali Van Sassen doing it at Starkware, it does not matter. It's the same. You're drinking from the same well. If you don't like that well, go to a different well. You're not welcome. 